Well, hello. Here we go. Oh, the stream started. I can let y'all know the stream has started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? How are y'all doing today on this beautiful Sunday, this magnificent Sunday? I'm so glad to see each and every one of you. I'm going to actually talk a little bit about the astrology. I've got some notes here of this new moon. This new moon, we'll talk more about the astrology of it tomorrow morning. I mean, the new moon is at its zenith. I want to say, what do my notes say here? Um, LA, 4.30 a.m., which means 7.30 a.m. Eastern time, 12.30 p.m. in London. And actually at 9.30 p.m. in Sydney, Australia. So, which is interesting because... A lot of times we end up with the new moon, with the lunar cycles, and sometimes depending upon when the lunation hits, it's like height. It ends up being like at, you know, some weird time, right, um, during the day. And um, it ends up being like not the same day, right, for different in, – in Australia or other countries, right? So – um, we're all experiencing it on the same day, which is tomorrow. So it kind of like, I don't want to say it snuck up on me, but it did a little bit because I was so focused doing other things. Um, so let me put it to you like this. This new moon in Gemini, it's Gemini season, but the new moon is actually taking place in the sign of Taurus because of the procession of the equinoxes. This is one of those times when what happens a lot lately when if you were using um side reel it would be or vedic ast astrology it would like this solidly makes sense um you know when we have the new moons in later on in this in the sign like when it flips back um on the pol polarity as far as that's concerned, then it becomes like truer, but half the year it's like way off. Um, so it, the moon itself is actually not making aspects and we'll go into this a little bit later. The moon itself is actually not making like serious aspects to any planets. It's making a very, though it's conjunct a, um, a fixed star called Aldebaran, not to be convinced with Alderaan in Star Wars. Alderba but, uh, Aldebaran is a Mars-like star that gives courage, honor, riches, and success in war. So if you're going to battle with anyone over the next 28 days, starting tomorrow, probably got a good chance of winning, but also ferocity, um, so fierceness, Sedition or traitorous type of behavior, um, be bad acts towards others, riots and potentially revolution. So this is the thing. Um, th what's probably going to be more, even more impactful, like, so that's a lot of really great energy, right? What's going to be probably more impactful is this Mercury, Mercury retrograde square Saturn. Um, interestingly enough, once Mercury goes stationary direct, I think it's June 3rd or something like that, Saturn goes stationary retrograde the day after. <coughs> so whatever that day that is. Um, that in and of itself, and, and guys, I'm going to go on and get to the readings. Just hang on. But I want to talk about this a little bit and we'll just kind of slice it out. Yeah, June 3rd. This Mercury, this and I, and I apologize. Once Mercury came in square to Saturn, which is just recently, this brings a very karmic overtone to this new moon. This brings a very, remember I said a couple, a couple of days ago, um, earlier in this week of May, that we were in a place where things were about to come to a head. We're in this space where you guys are going to start, you, you or others are going to start paying for the garbage that's been done. 
So we're going to start seeing the payback. We're going to start seeing karma. We're going to start seeing the, you know, the phrase karma is a bitch. Well, we're going to see her. Because this Mercury retrograde square Saturn in Aquarius is like, it's like, okay, what's all the screwed up thoughts, patterns, choices, decisions, either yourself or others have made on your behalf. Okay. Like either you've made and it's impacted a lot of people or other people have made and it's impacted a lot of people, but it's time to pay the piper. It's time to pay up. When you couple that with this energy of this, of this new moon and this, you know, finding victory in war, you also then have to add into this that the Mars conjunct Jupiter energy is also associated with success in war, battle, what have you, and other competitive areas like business and sports. It's a very intense energy. There's a lot of actually extracurricular activity going on outside of the sun moon Aldebaran conjunction that I find quite interesting because most of the times when they, we have a new moon, the, the, the sun and the moon are making some serious like aspects to other planets. And we really are playing in on that energy. This is all happening kind of, outside of ourselves, but contains a, how can I put this? It's happening outside of us, but for our good, if we're on the right side of karma, if we're on the right side of the fight, if we're on the right side of the battle. So it could be the case, right, that we have this karmic situation that we've been waiting for things to get paid off because we've gotten like the raw end of the stick in a lot of cases. And we're like, well, when is that going to, when am I ever going to see it? Like, when am I going to see the big payback? Well, you're about to. You're about to. And I know for a lot of you, you're, you're like, about damn time. Well, it just takes a minute sometimes. Also, though, be prepared for things to get kind of destroyed all around you in order for you to rise like that phoenix. So this is why I titled this, Have Courage, you know, in the midst of, I should have said chaos. Stand strong in tough times. I should t title this Have Courage in Chaos. Because if you think things have been chaotic up until this point, that you haven't seen anything yet. You have not seen anything yet. So have courage. Know that there's going to be a lot that's getting torn down. Some of us have to be willing to release that, that which needs to get torn down right? And, and be okay with it. And I need you all to understand that the tough times we're going through are for a reason. It's all for a reason. And you got to be brave enough to say, you know what? Okay, I get it. It's okay. So I need you to stand strong in tough times. I need you to st have courage in chaos. Know that you are always going to be cared for. Know that you are always going to be taken care of. Know that you are solid. But also know that not only are you taken care of, but that you are the one that takes care of you. And by that, I mean this. Your words, everything are a choice. You can choose to manifest a bunch of garbage and more problems in your life and more concerns and issues and what have you. You can choose to manifest all that. I'm not going to try to stop you. And neither is the universe, neither is God, neither are your ancestors, your angels, or what have you. Because at some point you might have to learn your lesson or you can choose to create 
a positive world. You can choose to come out on the other side of this in a great and fantastical way. The choice, honest to goodness, is all on you. So manifesting the life that you wish rather than manifesting the life everybody else tells you you're going to have. Okay. Um, I, I, I please do expect that there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be not so good news. Expect that people are going to probably criticize you for your choices. Expect pessimism. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I know that sounds like really rough. It, it kind of is, I guess. Um, but also expect, again, the karmic retribution and expect, let's just say, people that have been victims of bad acts to begin to get their just due. Exactly, shiny, shiny. We choose how to respond. And yes, the reckoning is happening. But just like over my shoulder here, it says shine bright like the stars above. I want you all, all of you to let your light shine brightly. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to cut that out and we'll put that in the astrology. We'll put that out there for like a quick astrology overview of this new moon. Um, and then I just started on my chart my grid. So we'll have the grid up and ready to go. Are you guys ready for some readings? <laughs> 